In this week's edition of A Ray of Hope, you'll hear from a young man who continues to push no matter what life throws his way. And as Kian Morgan reports, he's using his experience to inspire others. It all started when he was just 15 years old. Lamar Nicholson's life took a turn for the worse after he suddenly fell ill at school one day. So we went to Spanish-owned hospital, we went, you know, private doctors, and after six long months, I finally got a diagnosis, and that diagnosis was Crohn's disease. Crohn's disease causes inflammation of the digestive tract. The symptoms, severe abdominal pain, diarrhea, weight loss, and malnutrition. But these challenges are just a drop in the bucket to what Lemar had to deal with for the past 14 years. He says for as long as he can remember, he was always in pain. When it hit me, I weighed about 142 pounds and I was pretty much down to 100, 110. It's a condition which has impacted his livelihood, confining him to either his bed or the toilet. It has also robbed him of the enjoyment of his youth and even impacted his education. I would have spent three years in Sixth Farm after my first year at UWE, um, in which I almost dropped out. I was about two percentage points away from dropping out. I started my second year and had spent three weeks um, going to school and then I had to drop out. I had recently come home from at an attempt at a PhD and that, that failed miserably. I didn't even last one semester at school. He got so ill, he had to do corrective surgery to remove his large intestine. For him, it was like taking one step forward and 10 steps back. I felt angry. Uh, I wondered why God would do this to me because I've never done anybody anything. In spite of this, Lamar takes it all in stride. He now looks at the future with optimism and at the past with pride. That's not how life operates. It's not a meritocracy in how you know, good people, good things happen, happen to you. And I'm coming to believe that it's a good reason that this happened to me because I, for some reason, I've, I was blessed with the strength to get through this. In search for mental reprieve during one of his lowest moments, Lamar decided to document his journey in a book called The Limit Does Not Exist. He says though he will have to live with the disease for the rest of his life, he's not letting up. You have some challenge and you know it's, it's, it's tearing you down and you wonder, you can just look to me because I'll be the first one to tell you all that's wrong with me. But that, that's what makes you unique and that, that, that's what makes you strong. It's overcoming your own limitations. With a ray of hope, I'm Kian.